Now, if you like the diary series, strap yourselves in because I don't know what with, but strap yourselves in because this right here is pure diary gold. It's like it's like a computer version of a diary, not an actual diary. Just get on the video, Joe. Now, when I say the words MSN, I assume a lot of you won't actually know what I'm on about. It's basically an olden day version of WhatsApp for my youth. I would say a solid four or five years of my childhood was spent glued to my computer on MSN. Now, MSN was known for a lot of things. For example, when the person you fancy didn't say hi, so you had to sign sign out and sign back in again, so you'd pop up and they'd think, oh, he is online. Let's, let's message him. When your mum needed to use her phone, so you had to sign out because once she used the phone to call, it would cut your internet out. That happened to me all the time. Appearing offline when you didn't want someone to speak to you, even though you were still cheekily online, chatting to the, to the babes, asking to go on cam. I remember that. Oh, God. Write in your MSN name like this. Nudges. And of course, the classic cam for cam, which was basically you'd ask each other to go on webcam. And all you did was just carry on typing to each other, but just had to have that visual thing of seeing the other person. It's quite weird now that I think about it. But that was the days of MSN. Now, the other week, if you didn't see it on social media, I found an archive just full of all my saved MSN conversations, which has become an absolute goldmine of nostalgia, but mainly cringe. Now, like I said earlier on, if you like the diary series, this is actually way more cringe on my behalf and hopefully a lot of entertainment for you guys. So I thought today we could go through just one of these conversations with a very good friend of mine called, we're gonna call her Sandy. So without further ado, let's take a trip down memory lane and just see how terrible I was. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Sandy! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Oh my god, it goes on forever. And then Sandy says, Joey! Did you go down Liam's yesterday? Last night, yeah. Damn, I went too early. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You KK then, hun? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. You? Yeah, I'm good, Tar. Anyway, Joey, I've got to go, mate. Bye bye, love ya. Oh, great. <laughs> Straight away. That is basically how MSN conversations went. If you uh, had MSN, or even like probably now on WhatsApp, most of your MSN conversations went, hi, hi, how are you? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, good. What have you been up to? Not much, you? Yeah, not much. Bye, bye. But then the conversation continued another day. Here we go. What are you doing on Friday? Don't know yet. Oh, okay. Why? I thought we could have one of our old, oh my God, what am I even saying here? I thought, spell F-O-R-T, nice. I thought we could have one of our old get-together thingy my bobbies like we used to with me, you, Leon, Leone, Genevieve, and, oh, in capital letters as well. Right, this is where it all goes. This is bringing back so many bad memories. Okay, in capital letters, Hermione. At this moment in time, I was a little bit in love with Hermione. I was really into her, and I think she was into me. Nothing ever came of it, which you'll find out a lot more about in this video. Oh, the cringe is gonna kill me. KK, I'll let you know if I can eat ASAP. Cool. KWL. Got any New Year's? Oh my god. Got any New Year's resolutions or whatever they're called? I mean, I, I think I did spell it right. I'm quite impressed. I did actually spell it right. I'm not sure yet, lol. Lol. You? My is to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, poor little Joe Sug. My is to grow, lol. Mm, get a job. Smiley face. Well, I've, I've got a job now. I'm a bloody YouTuber, ain't I? Check me out. Hey, nothing about Hermione in it? Question mark. Huh? Oh, I think I get ya, lol. Like, Joe, yes, I know exactly what you're saying. Your New Year's resolution is to get with Hermione. To hook up with Hermione. To, to go out with Hermione. Become a girlfriend and boyfriend kind of thing. Ask her out on New Year's Eve. It would have been so romantic. But we forget that I was a very, very introverted, scared, wimpy little boy back in those days who was scared of my own shadow, scared of any kind of human interaction, unless it was on MSN. So uh, let's, let's carry on reading. Then she said, like, I might make a resolution to try harder when I fancy someone. Oh, I thought you meant something really dirty, lol. Ooh, don't be silly. Try harder, question mark. Yeah, that's a good one. Got to go, speak to you really soon. Bye, kiss, 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 kiss. Huh? What do you mean try harder? I don't get it, lol. Right, okay, very hard to explain. What? I'll explain when I next see ya, lol. Okay, or text. Bye, love ya. Bye, love you too. But like, it's mad the amount of like love I would throw around at MSN. It would take me a lot now to say to someone that I love them, unless I was like clearly joking. But back then you chucked love around like there was no tomorrow, like the world was gonna end, you know? Once again, I'm very confused. I don't know what she's on about, but let's find out in the next day. Hello. She said, do you still like Hermione? Question mark. I didn't answer. So she put a lot more question marks. Oh, she's very keen now. I put, haha, um, yeah. 
exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, like for another like 20 times. Still more than ever! Exclamation mark, I did that thing where you're so excited you put on a little one at the end, look. Bless my cotton socks. And then a little love heart emoji. This is before like emojis were really a thing. Smiley face, hello? Why? Why? So she put, do you still like Hermione? I said, yes, more than ever. And I'm like, yeah, why? Why are you asking? Do you just leave me cliffhanging, Sandy? What, what, why? And she then just put, bye, love ya, see you tomorrow. Kiss, 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 kiss. Great, cheers. My friends, thanks, Sandy. That's not helping my, my, uh, my paranoia of wondering if she likes me back or not, you know? Oh, it's things are starting to heat up now. I said, I'm seeing Hermione on Sunday. Smiley face. She put, oh. Smiley face. You still liking her then? Yep! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nearly for a year! Got no plans of stop like liking her either, smiley face. What was I even trying to say then? Basically, I think there I'm trying to say, and I've got no plans on stopping liking her in the future. That's what I was trying to say. I was such a little romantic. She put, oh, bless you. You like, love each other, lol. I put, hee 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 Yep. Then she put, I wish Shed asked you out, lol. Yeah, I also wish my uh, garden shed would ask me out. Too busy with a tool inside of it. Are you meeting up alone? Um, Leonie's coming as well, and we're going to Leon's. Basically, what I'll try to do is set it up so it sounds like me and Hermione are just hanging out, doing our own thing, a proper romantic date, but me not understanding how these things work, I was probably like, yeah, why don't we, uh, rather than hang out on our own, because that might be quite boring, let's go and hang out with all our friends as well, so it's more like a friends thing. Even though I really liked her. Joe, what were you playing at? I was such an idiot. Cool. Have fun. Don't get too close. I know what you're like, Joey. <laughs> I've got to go. Zoe wants to go on. So me and my sister Zoe, we shared a family computer. So I had three, basically when I got back from school until about four or half five. And Zoe would have half five until nine o'clock at night for MSN time. So we had to like schedule it. So I always had like the early time and she had the late time to chat to her friends on MSN. So I had to get off because Zoe wanted to get on. And obviously she was older. She had more subscribers. Wait, no, she didn't have more subscribers. She had more friends. <laughs> then the next day, or a few days afterwards, I put, How are you, matey? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I'm right, I suppose. And you, my lover? Bear in mind, we're from the West Country. This is how we speak, okay? I'm not too bad, thanks. How was your love life, Joey? Ah, oh, it's a bit at the moment. Yours? Same <laughs> Yeah, mine was good until like Monday. Oh my God, what happened on Monday? I said, nothing really, just think she's gone off me. I think Hermione's gone off me after our date with like all other friends. So would have seemed really unromantic and just like very friend zone -y. Why would she have gone off me, you know? What could I have done wrong? She put, oh, hun, babe, don't worry. Haha, <laughs> chin up. I think she likes Derek. Oh my God, no way. I don't know what context she said it in, but I'm guessing it was that one. Every day this week, they like hugged for ages right in front of me and I didn't know where to look. It was well awkward. Unhappy smiley face. Ah, oh, I shouldn't worry if I were you. That girl don't know what she's missing. Not going out with you. I put, oh, shucks. Embarrassing smiley face. Hee <laughs> hee, love you, honey. Oh, I actually said that. <gasps> I can't believe I said that. You know, at the time, that is exactly what I needed from Sandy. You know, I need that moral support. I need that reassurance that she still liked me and not freaking Derek. Oh, but then the next day, it got juicy. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I said, Oh my God, question mark, question mark. What? I said to Hermione about Derek and she said no. And I said, I thought you liked Joey. And she said, she kind of likes you. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. <laughs> and then she put, oh my God, she loves you. What does Joe put? Even when, as soon as he knows a girl likes him, he then shies away and becomes all like scared and doesn't know how to handle any kind of compliment or any kind of praise or any kind of good news. I replied with, ha ha. Literally, just a ha ha. That's, that, is, that is what I did. Such a loser. She loves you! You didn't say what, classic me, all I care about in this situation, I don't care that she loves me, I just care about, you didn't say that I said that though, did you? You didn't get me in trouble, you didn't say that I think she fancies Derek, did you? I don't, I don't want her to think that I'm talking about her behind her back. You didn't say what I said, did you? Question, question mark, shocked face. She then put, and then I said, if you don't mind me saying, you make the cutest couple I've ever seen, and she goes, why thank you. I put, lol. 
And then she put, no, of course I didn't drop you in it, Joey. You should do me better than that. To be fair, I do know Sandy, and I know she would never do that. Haha, <laughs> phew. So she said she kind of likes me, or loves me, confused face. Because like and love back then was a very different thing. If you like someone, in my idea, it just meant, you know, you like them as a friend. If she loved me, that's a whole different can of beans. She said she kind of likes you, which in other words, I say she really likes you, and obviously love each other to bits. And she said you're awesome. I put, <laughs> shucks. Once again, with the little embarrassed emoji. Even after all that, I still need, like, confirmation. So, she does like Derek or not. As a mate, she does. But as, like, BF material, as I said to her, nah, I don't think she does at all. I mean, who would look at him? Lol, he's a goon, haha. Um, and there we go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a tiny little slither of some of the, the cringe that I have. I was just talking to one of my friends. I have an archive for about 200 friends. Some of them weren't even friends. Some of them were girls I was trying to flirt with. Some of them were like mates from school, so you can imagine the sort of stuff that schoolmates between them chat about. One's with my sister, one's with other family members. There is a full ton of golden nuggets that I'm sat on right now. So if you want to see more cringe Joe Sug MSN conversation adventures, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss ones in the future. And I will see you next week with another Sug Sunday special. Cheers, goodbye. Also, you may notice that I'm wearing a Stamp to Cancer t-shirt. Um, unfortunately, I'm gutted, but I can't be there for this year's live stream. But I did film a little, uh, special little video for them. And I will leave a link to the live stream, because it would have already happened by the time you see this video. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Um, and I will see you next week with a Sunday special. Cheers. Goodbye.